Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Muna and in this video we would be looking into how to get started with Microsoft 365 business. A brief overview on Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365 is a platform where you can set up your account to enjoy the Microsoft services ranging from the Office apps to OneDrive, SharePoint, OneNote, etc. There is the Microsoft 365 for home and the Microsoft 365 for business the for home service is has the um, Microsoft 365 family and also has the Microsoft 365 personal however in this video we'll be looking into the Microsoft 365 for business where you can set up your business online for smooth operation so what we'll be looking in the first thing we'll be looking into in the Microsoft 365 for business is the subscription because that's where you start in the setup so we would have a look at what subscription you need to go for what each subscription um, comes with the service so that way we can see if it aligns with our business goals so for the subscription we'll start with the microsoft 365 app for business and these are the um subscription for the microsoft 365 for business we have the under the microsoft 365 for business we have the microsoft 365 for business and microsoft 365 enterprise so we'll have a look at each one to differentiate what each um, subscription comes with and how to sign up for it or decide on which would best fit um, your organization setup so we'll start with the microsoft 365 app for business so if you go for this um subscription this subscription only comes with the office application that means you want to set up a business tenant where um, okay so let me quickly point this out so what makes it different from the family or from, from the home is for the business you are able to set up a tenant which in this case an environment or where you can customize your your settings you have access to the admin platform where you can set up your custom domain and all that so that's the unique thing that comes with the microsoft 365 for business but however for this particular subscription it only offers you the application this means you're using the office desktop application on your computer either on your mac or your windows device or your surface pro yeah, so this only gives you the desktop application, which ranges from Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive, and yes, Access, etc. And you get to see more details on what this offer comes with. You have the one terabyte OneDrive storage. You have um, the desktop application of Office 365. And any, also on your phone, you can install and you have the free support anytime. Then we're going to the Microsoft 365 Business Basic. Now, and this comes with the services, however, on the cloud, where a plus of Exchange Teams, SharePoint, and also OneDrive. So this gives you access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, however, on the browser, not you won't be able to install the application on like the app for business where you're able to install. So this gives you the installation while this gives you the web with a plus of SharePoint and Teams with Exchange. Now, what I mean by Exchange is it gives you the um, platform where your emails can be customized. That means you're able to add a custom domain and you would um, have a unique email address with that custom domain where you can send and receive email so this comes with the exchange where you can yes like i said send and receive email we'll have a look at all this in later videos but this is just to give you like an insight like an overview of okay what subscription to go go for which to assign to your users then we go for the business standard the business standard has everything of business basic and app for business so this gives you the desktop application which is the office 365 app on your computer and on the web with sharepoint teams and exchange that's what this offers 
and this is the costs these are the services that comes with it you can also install in five devices for the um, office desktop application now this we're going straight to the microsoft 365 business premium now the microsoft 365 business premium is basically the microsoft 365 business standard however we're a plus this comes with security and when i mean by security it, it doesn't mean this doesn't come with security it also has its own security but we all know that there's that additional level of security that we want maybe encryption or um setting um access control data control all that comes also with the microsoft 365 business premium so basically these are all the subscription for the business and you can now decide um, if you want your users to only be able to access their emails on a browser and access um, word files shared through onedrive or through sharepoint or through themes on the browser then you can go for the business basic however if you do not you if you already have like a mail system maybe you're using a third party mail environment and all you just need is to have more flexibility when editing excel editing word file then you could go for the microsoft 365 app for business however if you're pretty practically new to everything and you want all the platform you want everything to be basically microsoft you want your emails you want your user to be able to use teams you want them to be able to use sharepoint um, onedrive exchange you want microsoft to host your email to be your mail provider you also want them to be able to use um, outlook seamlessly so that they can easily edit files and it automatically save to onedrive then i would ask you and advise you to go for the microsoft 35 business standard however if you want that additional level of security we just want that plus to it that okay yes yes we have the business standard they can use outlook everything is syncing outlook is syncing with teams when it comes to calendar outlook is syncing with um onedrive when it comes to sharing um office desktop application like word excel powerpoint is syncing to your onedrive or your sharepoint and everything is going in sync uh, but i just want that level of security where i can say okay if you're in a particular location you need to sign in with mfa or if you're outside this location then block signing then you can go for the business premium microsoft that's why business premium or if you want emails going out to be encrypted then yes you can go for the microsoft that's why business premium and yeah so we'll just have a quick overview on the enterprise section now the enterprise is we have the office 365 e3 we have the microsoft 365 e3 also we have the office 365 e5 microsoft 365 e5 we have the microsoft 365 um f3 um and this also just it's just like the enterprise, you know, like that premium level of subscription where everything is there with the additional like full package in all. So this is just, I'm going to be dropping the link to this um, site on the description. So if you want to have a later look into okay, what differentiates the M365, um, E3 from the E5 or the Office 365 E3 from the E5 then you could have your time through it you could see the comparison and okay this comes with war yes they all have the application but the e1 doesn't have the desktop app it has the email service the app for enterprise do not come with the exchange service you have more um, services like booking you have dev it comes with teams but the app for enterprise doesn't come so the app for enterprise is like the business app for business like that that only comes with the desktop application but with the enterprise plus why that just is basic um application so that's the unique thing about the enterprise it, we have the version of what you have in your business in the enterprise but with that additional um plus so you have sway for e1 e3 e5 you have work management that is power apps power automate 
planner form to do all that for this you have power bi for the e5 pro so instead of doing an add-on you could just go for the microsoft 365 sorry the office 365 e5 which comes with a power bi so it just gives more level of security where you can manage your devices app management from your azure identity assets and so much more threat protection all has its own level of security that you can go for so yes i would share this in the description if you want to have a later look at it you could also download the full comparison table and this would compare all subscriptions side by side for you to have a better view also um yeah before i forget microsoft has um tenants different tenants so we have the normal business tenants which is where you are a business person and you're just creating a normal tenant and then we have the edu tenant and we have the non-profit tenant now this are tenants that are as as mentioned or by their name the edu for the educational sector the non-profit for our non-governmental um ngos or yeah non-profit um companies or yeah bodies so if if you're a school or you're into the educational sector and you want uh, an online presence where emails can be communicated through your users or your students your um like when we had the covid where um, education had to be remote and you have to use teams yes microsoft has the educational tenants where you still have access to everything but it's a little bit different it's lesser when it comes to prices for the um, edu and it's it makes it more easier when teachers want to give training from using teams wants to assign as um, allocate assignments give scores it's more um made for educational purpose and yes here are the subscriptions you have there are requirements if you want to go for the microsoft 365 edu tenant i would um, drop the link if you want to have a look at it yes it also has its own um, requirements we also have the non-profit as i said earlier this also has its own requirements um, for the non-profit for before you can sign up for it and yes you you have benefit from the subscriptions if you are a small business non-profit you have the microsoft 365 business basic free however you have the microsoft 365 business standard not free you pay three dollars um, per user and then you have the microsoft 365 business premium free for just 10 users so once you are exiting that 10 user you would pay five dollar fifty per user per month so and before you can sign up for this um non-profit they are um, requirements that you need to meet for you to be able to sign up for them so if you're a larger nonprofit, here are the beneficial um, subscriptions that you have you have the e3 for nonprofit when you're a larger uh, body or the e5 so yes depending on what sector you want depending on your business goals depending on your organization um, structure you can go for any of the subscription so um, for you to sign up for example for the business I usually advise um, going for a one-month trial so that that way you have a feel of everything to say okay is this what we need does this meet our requirements can this perform the taxes we want so you just go for the um, try free for one month and once you click on this it brings you to the page where you have to set up the environment now um, this first stage is to know if you have an account currently active and if you don't you can just put in your uh, personal accounts you could use your gmail and if you click on nest i probably have an account with this email address active but if i don't um looks like you need to create a new account so that means you do not have a new account and you click on set up accounts so you fill in the detail of what your tenant wants to be like so this detail will be the admin details so you put in your first name your middle name if if you want to your last name then your business phone number the company name and company size how many people then the region 
then you click um, you check this you click on next this just follows through with the process of okay yes signing up for your tenants and once you do that since we're on trial this when you get to the payment info and finish it won't request you for a payment method since it's on a trial subscription but if we had click on buy now then this would request us to put in our payment info for the sign up all right so once you complete this process you would now successfully create your tenant and you can simply just log in to the admin center or you use the url office.com to log in so this is what we're going to stop for today we uh, just to do a quick wrap up we had a look at the Microsoft 365 for business, the subscriptions that they have to offer and what a subscription comes with. We talked about the Microsoft 365 app for business where this only offers the office application. And we also talked about the business basic where this gives you the office app on the web and you have access to Microsoft Teams, Exchange, SharePoint, which we will be looking into what this thing stands for later videos. We also looked at the Microsoft 365 Business Standard, which comes with what the Business Basic and the App for Business have to offer combined in the Business Standard. Then we looked at the Microsoft 365 Business Premium and this just gives you the additional security level, maybe access control, maybe encryption yes that says for the business then we looked at the enterprise the enterprise gives you um, basically what the business gives you but that level of okay these are premium um, offers so a like we said, we have the app for business in the um, business section. We also have app for enterprise in the enterprise section, which this comes with also office app, but that level of security where you can manage devices, manage identity access. We also have the E1, which is kind of like the business basic where you have access to the web but also gives you that additional plus when it comes to all the applications like Yama, Viva Connect, Viva Engage, Sway, ETC Stream and the rest, Power um, Automate, Power Apps, Power Virtual Agent. Then we'll also have the E3 which also has its own limitation like for example it doesn't come with the Power BI Pro or Viva Insights while the E365, that's Office 365, E5 has everything. It's like the full package. So you you could sign up for this or you could go for the Microsoft 365 for Enterprise, which has the E3 and the E5 and also um, F3. This here shows you what each subscription has what you can benefit from it you can see more details on by clicking on the plus sign okay what is compliance management it shows you what you could assess what you can manage like for example manual retention label content search which we'll be looking into later videos how to go about all this in your um, business so that's the unique thing uh, unique thing about um, setting up a microsoft justified business it gives you that full control you have access to everything you can play around with it you can search you can customize you can reset rules you can set up policies so it's just having your organization on the cloud and you have it there running what what users can do what they can do what policy what rules they can set what access they can have how they can assess it manage their devices so it, it just gives you that full package that full control on your environment right there in the cloud so yes so this is the overview and yeah we also looked at the um educational environment which we mentioned that microsoft has the regular business tenant the, the regular when you know okay i'm just a regular business person and i just want to set up my environment on the cloud yes and if you're into education sector we have they have the um education section where you can set up an edu tenant there are requirements for that and i'll be dropping the link for that and the description for this video there's also the non-profit where you could sign up 
for um, grants the subscription has its own um, grant benefit also you have to meet the requirement for those um, non-profit subscriptions before you can be granted like we said if you're a small business and your request has been approved you have the microsoft 365 basic for free up to 300 users and you have to pay for the business standard which is fair compared to what we have when it comes to the normal um, tenants this is for the non-profits then you have the business premium free for 10 users and once it's above 10 users you pay $5.50 for user per month so and it has basically everything same thing the same thing you have for business basic you have here for the normal business is the same thing you have for the non-profit likewise for the business standard same thing applies for your business premium and if you're a larger um, organization you pay um, nine dollar for e3 microsoft 365 or 2280 for e5 microsoft 365 for non-profit so yes that's basically it thank you so much for your time thank you for tuning in um please kindly share subscribe and stay tuned to my channel for more insight on microsoft we'll be dropping more videos on how to navigate through the admin center how to customize how to use all the services to collaborate to um communicate with your client to make work so seamlessly thank you once again and bye